Good morning, y'all. Let's get ourselves. Oh, they don't even have my favorite Red Bull. Um, we'll just take the green one. And then we're going to get ourselves a little protein bar. And of course, we got the vet out today. So if everything goes according to plan today, you guys just might finally see some pulls in the Corvette. I know we've yet to do pulls in this thing, but today might be the day. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Sorry to just kind of put you on film like that. <laughs> Welcome to Vet Lab. Oh, Vet Lab is empty now. So we got the car in here. Now I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly what we're gonna do. So when I bought the car, it was direct injection. Then we had to go port injection so it could be on E85. And the port injection kit failed. And now we got all new wire harness to replace it with the one that failed. So here's everything that was sent out to us. So this is the computer, the heart of everything. And then we got all the wire harness here, more wires. We got the tuning cable. So big shout out to 2 High PSI for sending this out to us. Super quick too. So they two day shipped this stuff. As soon as we knew the issue was with their kit, Ed called them up and told them what the issue was. And they were like, no worries. We'll send you whatever you need. So big shout out to them for sending this out to us. So we got the Corvette all apart. We got the fender here, the bumper there, the wheels right there. And then this is the module that we think failed. And then the wire harness. So we're gonna replace pretty much all of it. We don't exactly know why it failed, but we know that this is definitely the problem because once we disconnected this kit, the car started running fine. Uh, look at that. So we found water. <laughs> So that is the problem. Water found its way somewhere in there. I don't know how that even happened. You would think it would be waterproof, but I guess it went swimming along with the car. So like I said, this issue happened right after I got a car wash. Like when I went to turn it on, it turned off and then it basically became undrivable. I drove it to the shop and it turned off like a bunch of times. And well, there you guys go, it's filled with water. So back to the vet, we installed the new computer and the wire harness. We actually moved the computer. It used to be over here and we put it in a different location here. So there's no way water could get anywhere near here. We got the fender liner going here and also the fender is gonna be blocking it from any sort of water to get anywhere near this computer. They didn't have any plugs in these open open holes in the connector here. So you see how you can see that light through those? Those are just holes that water could seep through them and it was just going all over the computer and well, all in the connector. we had a salvage title wire harness and a computer. The computer's all messed up. You can see all the uh, yeah. corrosion in here. Yeah, look at that. Can, can we get some light that? to it? Yeah. Look at that. So that's all junk, water got into it, and yeah. So we got new everything in there now, and we changed the location, a lot better here. Everything looks a lot better now, and we're ready to turn it on. Obviously, we're not gonna put the car back together until we know that it works. You ready, Roy? Fire it up. All right. Oh. All right, it's not working. Good. 
so we're gonna leave Roy to put back the car and I'll probably most likely come back tomorrow morning and pick it up and we're back in the Beamer yet again this is literally the official vet lab loaner that he always gives me so good morning guys it's the next day and we're gonna go check on the Corvette I think we're gonna dyno the Corvette today as well and for those who are wondering why this space is so empty is because Ed used to rent this out and the people have moved out since then they left a few cars which will be out of here very soon and I'm not sure what he's gonna do with this space That sounds pretty good, but we're here for this. So the car is all done. They put it back together, bumpers on, wheels are on, fenders on, everything's good. Ed loaded the tune on the car, and the next thing he wants to do is actually throw it on the dyno just to make sure everything is good to go. All right, we're out of here. Bye, yellow bat. Take it to the dyno. Hey, you guys wouldn't believe who showed up to the shop. My boy with the red eye, he finally dropped it off to get retuned. The car was tuned by another shop, and well, now it's gonna get retuned by Kurt, and it's gonna get a heck of a lot faster. <laughs> So before we leave, I want to show you guys a couple of cars. We got this Hellcat here getting done. We got a twin turbo C7 Z06. Look at those turbos. We got another vet. And then one of my boys dropped off his TRX that I filmed with like two months ago. He's in here getting some work done to it. And it's right here. And we got my boy in here swimming all in the trx <laughs> so we took the blower out now we hey he did he did not we and then he got a 285 upper pulley injectors spark plugs what else um tune and is getting a thermostat thermostat a 180 i like a 160 a 160 oh yeah, okay so. so 160 and this thing is gonna remain on 93 so my boy doesn't want to put it on 85 so it's gonna be still pretty quick i had mine on 85 and i also had a ported blower he didn't want to port his blower just yet but he definitely will during the summer check this hydro blue out though this color is so sweet look at this thing and then you got the interior carbon fiber interior Alcantara everywhere, leather. It's just such a beautiful truck, man. I do miss mine. I always tell you guys that I regret selling it. It didn't make sense to have it on the channel just because it wasn't pulling the views that it needed to to keep it on the channel. But one day, like I said, definitely gonna buy another one. So what do you guys think of these wheels? So these are four star wheels. They are bead locks. I'm thinking about getting these wheels for the vet, except without the bead lock, just because I think that's totally unnecessary for my car. But as far as design, what do you guys think? Do you guys like these or do you not? I'm not the biggest fan. I would much rather not get these wheels, but it's just so hard to find wheels that will fit around my brakes. I have these carbon ceramic brakes and it just makes life really, really hard because they're huge and there's not many wheels out there that are 18s that would fit on the car. And the reason I need to get 18s is so we could get bigger tires and that will pretty much help us get traction because these tires, might not work, they look good. It would probably work if the car was stock and well, this car is far from stock. Alrighty boys, so we're gonna take this thing home. I'm gonna throw a GoPro on. We're gonna take it on the highway and try to do some pulls. He told me that 
it's probably not gonna hook. I'm still gonna take the chance because I really wanna do a pull in the car, so let's throw the GoPro on and see how that's gonna go. All right, guys, so there's no way I'm gonna continue this video while looking this dusty, so let's go to the barber and get a quick haircut. So I just got a haircut. I look a lot better. I was looking way too dusty and I couldn't continue the video. We got the lineup. We got the fade right here. I mean, my barber took care of me. Now, we're gonna throw it to the GoPro and attempt to do a pull in this weather. It's 40 degrees out and it's probably not the best idea to do a pull. setup so i'm kind of scared but it feels really really good and i'm also not in the right gear where it hits like really good so that's why the power is kicking in slowly as i go all right we're gonna do one more I decided to stop by at MC Whips to show you guys my boy's GLE. So if you guys don't know the backstory on that car, well, let me tell you guys. So another shop wrapped that car and they did a really, really bad job. They scratched the whole car up. They damaged so many things. I literally made a video about it like a few videos ago. So if you're confused, go back and watch that. But anyways, MC Whips got their hands on it and now it looks better than ever. So they rewrapped the whole car. They repainted the brakes. The other shop painted them and the color did not match the wrap. So MC Whips matched it to the wrap. They engraved his name right here. All the chrome was deleted in gloss black. And then this was tinted. That badge was blacked out. That badge was blacked out. The tips are blacked out. Well, they were painted. Everything was painted. You don't really want to wrap badges just because it's going to eventually peel. So big shout out to MC Whips for redoing this car and making it look better than ever. And let's show you guys what's in the shop. They have one of my favorite cars that I've ever owned. They got the exact same spec here, which is the Challenger Red Eye in sublime green. The only difference is mine didn't have stripes. This one has stripes, has the same wheels everything the same same spoiler i mean this is exactly how mine was minus the stripes and it just makes me miss mine man as you guys know i don't have a hellcat anymore and i constantly think of buying another one i was gonna buy that jailbreak that didn't work out but i'm sure i'll eventually have a hellcat and they also got this g63 here to get ppf Look at how cool this thing is. It has the nicest wheels I've seen on a G63. They're called mono black wheels. They look really, really good. Look at this. As you guys know, I'm super obsessed with G63s. And this is another one. It's factory satin white. So this is not a wrap. 
It's factory. So you guys constantly hear me talk about PPF, and some of you don't even know what PPF stands for. It stands for paint protection film, and it's really important to PPF your car if you care about it, just because it'll save you from a lot of rock chips, scratches, even like if somebody side swiped you a little bit, and it doesn't cause any body damage, that PPF will save you all that paint that would transfer from the other cars. So I always believe in PPF in your car. Ever since I learned of PPF, I pretty much have PPF every single car that I've bought. So the rain finally stopped, which means it is time to take the Corvette and head home. And I'm gonna end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I gotta order a wheel and tire setup for the Corvette because when we were out doing those pulls, traction kept kicking in because the car was just spinning. It makes way too much power for that wheel and tire setup. So we're gonna get away from the 20s and put 18 inch wheels with 325 wide tires. I'm not sure what brand, I think Mickey's or Toyo's. And look what's leaving. Look at this. So this car was in to get PPF and it is gonna go home. Look how beautiful this thing is. Definitely makes me miss mine. But anyways, we're gonna order a wheel and tire setup and then we're gonna throw it on, do more pulls and just continue to have fun with the car. I love the car and I'm glad I bought it. So love you guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like comment make sure you are subscribed and i will see you guys on the next one peace